Hello, one and all, it's me again, Casual Raz, back with another video to annoy the hell out of you all day, every day. Uh, today we are checking out a game by Clay Studios, uh, the guys that make Don't Starve and various other wonderful delights, uh, called Oxygen Not Included. It's um, basically a colony simulation game, but let's not faff around too much, let's game and talk at the same time. Basically the idea of this game is uh, you're thrown into a procedurally generated world, you're given three guys who can build various devices to keep them alive on a stranded asteroid. They have no idea how they got there, they have no idea how they're going to leave, they're just going to try and survive. That's basically the gist of the whole game and you know there's various things you can make to uh, achieve that end goal. But first let's deal with our starter team. We have a bodybuilder, a miner and a shittier miner. Huh. Uh, he sucks up more air? Right, okay. I think it's important we name our guys. Oh, let's see. Iron Gut, that's good. Mole Hands, we need that. Uh, decor, annoying. Vomiter, vomiter. Okay, cool. Right, so what should we call our people? Well, hmm, this guy's looking a bit twatish. Uh, hmm, maybe Soulless. He's a bit ginger. No, we'll just call him Timmy. This, this is, why do they look... okay, they look really weird. Oh, they're kind of innocent, but freaky at the same time. Uh, so we'll go with Timmy, Clive. Whoa. And... It, is that a guy or a girl? I don't even know. <laughs> um, that's kind of freaky. I'm thinking... Bob. Yeah, it's gotta be Bob. It's gotta be... it's a guy, isn't it? Yeah. Right? Maybe? I'm assuming. I'm assuming his gender. I shouldn't be doing that. Right, let's uh, name our column, shall we? I call it a column. Let's face it, it's a death trap. It really is. Mm. The ultimate. 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 Fuck up. Mm, there we go. Oh, I've taken a screenshot. Nice. Right, let's jump in. So, to survive, we need three, four basic things water, food. Oh, hold on, alert, your crew has awoken miles beneath the surface of an unfamiliar terrestrial body. Oddly, they have no recollection of how they got it. Might be best to start digging. Right, so we need to survive water, power, food, uh, oxygen. Seems pretty simple, right? Unfortunately, it's not. I've uh, had two previous games where just to get acclimatized and controls and all that sort of stuff, and... It all goes tits up pretty quick, quite frankly, in a fun and entertaining sort of way. So on the left and right we have water, in fact, wow, there's actually quite a lot of water, more than I'm used to. Um, right. We have copper ore up top, that's good, that's good, yes, yes. I'm hopeful for this, this could work. So firstly let's expand our base. Yes, begin mining my little friends. Go Clive, go. So, we need to acquire food, which we'll need water for, and uh, to run the piping and all that sort of stuff, we're going to need copper ore. Hmm. <clears throat> we're going to need power, so we're going to need generators, we're going to need all sorts of wonderful things to keep these little bastards alive. This is like the most advanced version of a Tamagotchi I've ever seen, quite frankly. And yes, they will shit where they please, until you build in a lavatory. But hey. Let's see, let's see. Let's get some power online. Or it all goes tits. Okay, so we have some algae, I believe that's useful. That's I know that's useful. So, right now, if we uh, uh, activate the oxygen overlay, we can see the, gla the gas in the local area, oxygen, very breathable, they're quite happy. As they breathe, they're gonna release uh, CO2, and uh, yeah, that's no good for us. So, we need to figure out how to get rid of that before it becomes dangerous and so forth. And apparently he's cold. Huh. That's annoying. What the hell? Alright, let's set up this thing. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so we need access to water as well. Boom. Access to water, sort of. What are you doing, Timmy? Timmy, what are you doing? He's so joyful. 
No matter what happens, he'll always smile. Oh, creepy. Okay, we have wire set up. Uh, right. Oh, an outhouse. That could be important. Hmm. Let's see. We don't want it too close to the base because it's an ugly outhouse. So what we're going to do, we're going to head down here. Uh, now, at first glance, this game looks pretty simple, you know, oxygen good, carbon dioxide bad, but not only does it account for the oxygen, it also accounts for uh, atmospheric pressure. So, as they breathe the oxygen and as we expand the base, the atmospheric pressure is going to drop if we're not careful, which is bad for us because these guys, you know, they do need to breathe. It's going to get very cold very quick, and I won't have the infrastructure to save this sorry asses when it all goes to tits up. So we do need to be very careful what we do early on. Hmm. Look at Timmy. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> Who gave him that cut? Oh. They need, they're gonna have to add, add air dressers to this game. Yeah. Right, we need food. We need an outhouse. Let's throw the outhouse down here. Yeah. If only temporarily, so at least they've got somewhere to, you know, do their business. Really don't want to have to be mopping up piss and shit. Oh, seeds, awesome. Okay, that's useful. Right, so oxygen generation. Um, we have algae. Okay, uh, converts algae into oxygen. Useful. And it's a rare in once we do some research. Well, we need raw metal, which means we need some of the copper ore up there. Uh, so, if we mine out this bit really quick here, let's see if we can achieve these goals. Go on, Timmy, you can do it. Yeah. Ignore Bob, he's just being mean. Right, cool. Uh, that's a door. Oh, right, metal. Need more metal. You can never have enough metal. Okay. Let's see how we're doing. So we're still pretty good right now. We've got high concentrations of oxygen. That's fine. There's no power grid to speak of, so I'm just going to ignore that. And the temperature's temperate. They're quite happy. They're quite happy. This is good. This is good. I hate to see uh, these guys. Bob, what are you doing? Bob, what the hell are you doing? He's going for a swim. What? Okay, fair enough. Apparently he really, really wants to pick up those things, which, yo, uh, I can understand why. He's probably hungry, poor guy. I mean, he's just been teleported into a random asteroid, right? Right, we're uh, gonna make our way to the copper, get set up. Then we can build our um, algae deoxidizer and jiggy. Make some oxygen and be very happy. You also allow me to build airlocks, I believe, which are going to be very useful in the very near future. Yes, no, go for it, Timmy. Good lad, good lad. No, oh, sound is dangerous. Right, so we need to make food uh, and oxygen. Mm, I'm presuming carbon dioxide will slowly build up. It can't be instant. Dead. So quick. Right, here we go. Right, power. Uh, we can now make the micro mushroom. Let's have a look. Reduces low quality food for duplicates using common ingredients. Mm. Duplicates will not fabricate unless recipes are cured. Makes sense to me. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Right, power. Oh, we also need to go to a place for these guys to sleep. Hmm. Well, I better not put their beds near the shitter. That would go down too well. Although, no, no. Best not. Right, I'm thinking here then. Let's see. Tiles. Uh, I believe they can build four high, I think. What are they doing? Crazy guys. There we go. So if we go one, two, three, four. 
No, we have to go five, aren't we? Right, five it is. And then, okay. This could work. Ooh, I can build airlocks. Awesome. Actually, no, cancel that. I'm gonna whack that. Apparently not. And they've fallen asleep on the floor. <laughs> Aww. That is cute. I mean, they're probably freezing to death, but it's cute. Poor little guys. Hmm. I think I made a pretty good start. I'm not an expert or anything, but... They're very quickly going to have food and a place to sleep. That's just the basics of what they need right now. Hmm. Right, let's wake him up. We can speed up time. <laughs> they swallow xylophones? Wow. Come on, guys. Come on, you can do it. Wakey, wakey. There we go. Yeah, now nah, Timmy's running away. Okay, right, let's queue some food up. Edible. Ew, putrefied. Oh, nasty. May cause diarrhea. Eh. It's all they've got, so they'll eat it. Mm. Okay, so. Uh, out there, maybe? If we want to make a nice place for them to sleep. Yeah, I'm thinking uh, it's probably too high. But, nope, no, we're good. It's fine. Okay, so hmm, we're going to need some batteries. We have an outhouse. Timmy's using the outhouse. Wow. Ooh. What do they do with the... Hmm. Let's see. Station super oh research. Oh, nice. Cool, cool. And I can't find it. Where is it? Ah, refinement under compost farm. Okay. Well, that's gonna be annoying. Oh, Bob needs the loot. Come on, guys, you can do it. Build your home. Hmm. So, anyway, as these guys are currently deciding that making food is more important than uh, making a bed, which it probably is, uh, let's talk about the game a little bit. Bob, come on, really? Oh my god, that's just so bad. Yes. Uh, yeah, uh, we're currently running a development build. Developers added uh, the thermal com. Uh, what's the word I'm after? The thermal aspects of the game very recently because in the last patch, the temperature of things didn't make pretty much any difference to the duplicates, they're called. These other guys running around. Nor did it make a difference to the. Uh, buildings on your base, like the storage compactors or the micro mushroom and stuff, so you could have these things at a thousand degrees and the game wouldn't care, it's hilarious. The duplicates were like terminators basically. But now, now it's all changed, everything applies, you can get these guys into a hot place and they'll be running around like little rabbits because they're actually on fire. You feel bad for them but you really need them to fix that thing that they broke earlier. You know, it's, it's a... Uh, a cruel, cruel game. Okay, but I really need them to start digging this out. It needs to be done. Let's prioritize them a little higher so they can actually get on with that. If there's nobody using the micro musher, why are you still running on the generator, Clive? Clive, I know you like to be the hamster, but it's not necessary right now. Oh, Clive. <laughs> Look at him go, though. Well, let's make these guys some beds. 
at some time. The furniture, there we go. So one, two. Hmm, it's gonna have to be higher. We have to have some very nice looking painting. A little bit higher. So there. Yeah, sweet. Right, guys, seriously, you have enough food for now. It's fine. Give it time. Clive, get off the generator. He's obsessed. It's like a giant hamster. Clive? Clive? Stop running, Clive! What are you running from, Clive? Oh my god, what's he running from? There are beds to be made, good sir. Okay, so, we really don't want to be supplying oxygen to this entire area, not left, not right now at least. So let's lock off an airlock, before we run out of everything. No, we're doing alright still, the game's been leading at the moment. Although it is uh, giving us a heads up, insufficient oxygen generation, so... There is that. But, uh, it shouldn't be too bad for a while, I mean, the oxalite or this uh, on the left, you know, stuff here is actually producing some oxygen, so just to make sure you don't suffocate in the first 20 seconds of the game, basically. And we have our first bed. Let's see, I think Timmy. My favourite Timmy right now. Look at them go. Hmm. Will that actually provide? Oh, it will provide decor, okay. Yeah, sweet. Clive, what are you actually stood on? Huh. Weird. Almost all the beds sorted. Hopefully that'll be them happy for a short while at least. Maybe. Come on guys, you can do it. That's the way. Uh, do we actually have to plant anything? Not yet, okay cool. This is good, this is good. Good one Timmy. Yeah, good lad. Building cart. Dirty hands and he's grimy, and he doesn't like the decor. Dude, you just got here. Like, seriously, you've been here two days, and you don't like the decor. You're fighting for your life, boy. Ay. Cheeky little son. Alright, so yeah, here we go. Now we've dug out this whole area. The uh, gas pressure, the atmosphere pressure has dropped. And over here, the oxygen is nowhere near as breathable as it is over here. So yeah, this is the sort of stuff we're fighting as we expand our base, and actually, come to think of it, oxygen rises. It's a very light element, so we need to seal this off as well. And we need to do it sooner rather than later. Just to make sure all our good oxygen doesn't go flowing up here, into this area here. I mean, they would be able to stay there and that'd be fine, but... Timmy, what happened? How did you get there? Silly boy. Yeah, exactly, I thought as much. Honestly, well, natural selection in this game is a bit harsh. How are we doing for food? Okay, we have 23,000 calories worth of food. That's not bad, if they eat 1,000 calories a day. Well, each, obviously. Um, then we're good for a little while. Okay, we should have enough resources for now. What's next on the list? Hmm. Batteries would be wise. Then we don't have to run all the time. Hmm. Nope, more important, we need uh, oxygen. Uh, algae, activate the algae machine. For a one over here. Right, yeah, sweet. Let's wire that in. 
Ah, uh, they're off to bed. No. Okay, that where's uh, Clive, wasn't it? Yep, he does like the decor. This guy. Huh. Oh, that's slightly annoying. Uh, basically, what I learned from the previous games I've played is decor plays a quite a prevalent role in the stress factor of these guys. Apparently, fighting for your life isn't enough. They have to have a very nice room to do it in as well. So, hmm. uh, the less decor they have, depending on the individual duplicate, each one has certain requirements and so forth. Oh, wow. Okay, that's fine. Uh, basically, you know, some are more. Uh, what's the what's the word? Susceptible than others, you might say. See this guy? He doesn't need any decor. He's quite happy. Oh, he's a little bit. But Clive, is it Clive? Let's see. Info. You know, it would help if I clicked him. There we go. No, one of them. One of them needs like 15 decor. Oh no, oh no, this room looks shit. I don't care, we've just got here, but you know, that's just the way it is. Okay, so for the most part, we've got our food sorted. We've got oxygen kind of on the way, maybe, if we're lucky. Clive's on it right now. He's working his little butt off getting this thing online. And we have beds sorted. So. We have a basic base cell. Can't really argue with that. So in that case, it's probably time to set up a research station so we can start unlocking some really cool stuff. Let's see, uh, research stations. Boom. But where to put it? Hmm. I'm gonna cheekily put it there. That's probably gonna be a bad choice. But we'll see what happens. So, as you can see, they have a lot of area to explore. Actually, exploring it is a pain in the arse, and we've got chlorine gas at the top. There's an ice biome at the top left. Gold on I have never even got to that before. Uh, limited amounts of water, but it's pretty close. Ice on the right as well. What's that noise? Oh, I've never seen one there before. A weasel. Chilly breath. Hmm. So as we expand our base outwards, we're going to consume all the materials in the local area. Eventually, we're going to run out of things like uh, algae. So at that point, you have to change how you produce oxygen and stuff like that. And eventually, one day, unless you're cheesing it by using, using and abusing the game mechanics, you're gonna die. There's just no way around it. I think in the current alpha. There is no true sustainable way that one day you will die. And all these guys, Clive, Bob, Timmy, they will be corpses just lying on the floor in a vacuum space. Oh wow. Think about that, Timmy. Think about that while you're making that research station. Yeah, I thought as much. Right, he's on it. He's made the research station. Hooray! Right, what should we research first? Farming stuff? Gas piping, liquid piping, power generation, or decor? Uh, I'd say farming, absolutely, all the way. We need the algae. I can't even say it. Algae terrarium? Yeah, recycles carbon dioxide into small amounts of oxygen. And we're going to start running into carbon dioxide pretty soon. Hell, it's building up down here, because obviously uh, carbon dioxide being a heavier element, it's coming along the floor here, dropping down the ladder. Very soon, the outhouse, which is at the bottom of the ladder, is going to be a toxic pit of death. In fact, it's practically there now. Hmm. <laughs> outhouse. Nine visits remaining. Carbon dioxide. Unbreathable. Wow. So, basically, the outhouse right now is very slowly but surely becoming a competition on how quick you can push one out and run away. What a delightful thing that is. Right, let's wire up the research station real quick. So fail to do that. Boom, there we go. In fact, we should keep an eye on the wire. Because we're hooking up a lot of powered items to a single wire. It could end very badly. Because in the latest update, they added wattage to the powers, the power lines, stuff like that. So if you pull too much through uh, the basic wire, it will overload and melt. 
which is just delightful. But it's aspects like that, like little tension, attention to detail and so forth, that really add to a game like this. Like, I didn't even know this until very recently, if you heat up the water enough, uh, you can actually quite easily turn it into steam using appropriate tools and stuff. And I've never managed to pull it off yet. It's set up quite complicated itself, really. Gas pumps and heating elements and so forth. But it's, it's things like that. It's like, oh, they actually thought about that. It does actually work. I remember years ago when I was playing games growing up as a kid, it's like, throw a bottle of water onto a fire in a game and nothing would happen. Like, well, why is it not exploding at least? Or at least melting? No, the fire's not real. They haven't thought about that sort of thing. Those details aren't in the game. But this one, it's all about those sort of details. Unfortunately, it does mean there's a lot of variable aspects that you can totally cheese. Like in the previous patch, to combat running out of water, you would stress out the duplicates to the point where they would be vomiting all over the place. But for some reason, the water they vomit up doesn't reflect from any of the water that's inputted, like when they're drinking or anything like that. So they'd be generating water out of their faces in the most horrific water duplication glitch I have ever seen. Ugh, so much vomit. Right, let's bring power back online. Oh, Bob's jumping on this time. Fair enough, fair enough. That should allow us to do some research on it. Okay, so Bob's running the generator. Clive's on research. And Timmy is collecting resources. This is working out quite well. They're, they're working. They're working pretty much as a team for now, until the vomit starts. Yeah. Then it all goes tits up. Let's have a look at the core. It's, uh, it's gone up a little. But oh no. Phase throw phases over right now. To see what happens with that. Okay, so, ah, the new duplicate has arrived. Let's see who we have. Catalina, I think I've met that person before. Huh. Small bladder, oh god, loud sleeper. In space, everyone can hear you sneeze. Nice. Interior decorator, creativity. This duplicate moves quickly underwater. Cool, we have a level 7 miner. He's a yokel, so he can't research stuff. He's afraid of violence, can't perform job combat. Well, combat's not really an issue right now. I think this guy's seeming pretty good. He's he's expecting decor, which is annoying, and he's also destructive when he gets stressed out. It's very bad. In fact, they're all destructive. Hmm. Let's see. Cooking, digging, tinkering. Uh, it's good. No, we're going with Catalina. Can we change? We can change her name, right? What should we call her? Hmm. Red shirt. Yes. Yes. Come forth, red shirt. We have jobs for you to do. Man, she's right to work. Wow. She doesn't even matter that she just appeared in a random asteroid with no memory about she got here, surrounded by three other people. It's fine, apparently. But anyway, on that note, we have run out of time for uh, the first episode of this series. As always, I uh, hope you've enjoyed watching this. It's been a most strange experience, especially when Redshirt just popped out of nowhere. And I will see you all next time.